Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Where do you want to go? So back to the hotel. Back to the hotel. <laughs> Hi, Alina. I'm so happy to meet you. Thank you. I'm so nice to be in the, <laughs> in the car. Uh, you have Justine and Anna in your coach team. It's uh, amazing to have her uh, in my box. What's the best advice she's given you so far? To every day to give 100%. It doesn't matter if you are at your 10% today or not, or something is not working. Mm. You need to be extremely focused and, and uh, yeah, just be in the moment. What else do you do when you're not playing tennis? I have um, a lot of spare time when I'm flying. I read uh, quite a lot. I'm into business books as well. I like to learn what I need to do with uh, my money, you know. <laughs> you're preparing for later. <laughs> yeah, I try, I try to prepare earlier. So Alina, you travel all the time. What is it you always have in your carry-on? Uh, for sure, my uh, stuffed uh, dog. My stuffed dog, my toy. I have it since I'm four years old and uh, when I started playing tennis, obviously. And uh, he traveled everywhere where I've been. What's his name? Uh, Bobik. Uh, it means, uh, in, in Russian, it means uh, like a puppy. Do you sleep with him? Yes. <laughs> How do you prepare for Serena? Uh, nothing special. Just give 100% and you don't have any regrets. Because obviously she's a great champion. So it's a big challenge. And yeah. uh, that's what you're working for. And uh, that's why uh, I'm playing tennis. Living, living the dream, it's, it's a big, uh, big part of, of tennis. Earlier this week, Gustavo Querten drove me, so we're doing selfies in his honor.